What's up? It's your girl Joy back with another video and so today I will be explaining Cal State Long Beach's uh, CSULB portal regarding the shopping cart. Um, we'll also talk about how to add delete courses, um, how to use Google Drive to update your timeline for your college classes, um, major and GE requirements, what that means, and how to use College Schedule Maker. So I will explain all of this and show you in this tutorial of all of the things that you might have questions on, so just stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Joy, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Here on YouTube, I do college, beauty, and lifestyle videos, so if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I do want to point out this video is not going to be a sit-down talk video. It will actually be a video of me showing you like how to do the different things on my computer. Okay, hey guys, so I'm in a different location. I'm actually in the guest bedroom. And that's because my room does not have Wi-Fi, so I can't show you this tutorial unless I come in here. Hey guys, so I am going to be using Photo Booth so that you can see me like my face and talking while I'm explaining this. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is schedule of classes, what that is, and how you can find it, and what it really means. So the first thing that I did is I went into Google search. You're going to search CSULB schedule of classes. You can click the first link right here that comes up. And you're going to see this page right here. If you are in uh, the spring semester, let's say, and you are going to sign up for classes for the upcoming fall semester, so let's say fall 2019, then you would go to fall courses right here and then click on fall 2019. Now you can search the classes that you need and want one of three ways. So let's say you want to search it by the subject. So let's say that I want to find a journalism class. So I will go to the J, click on journalism. Let's say I'm looking for journalism 311. So now what you're seeing here is the different classes that are offered in journalism for the fall semester of 2019 that you can take. So basically like one and two, if you can see right here, these are just two different, different classes you have options. That's the class number which you can use in to put for your shopping cart to find these classes, which I will show you how to do that as well. Um, but basically, like no cost material. Some classes will say that you don't have to have any materials or books for that, and it would indicate right here. And let's see. So type that just means this. These are both lectures. This is a lecture class. And then days and time. This is when the class is going to meet. So let's say that you wanted to pick. Journalism, so right here at the top you see what class it is. So it says Journalism 104 Social Media Communication. So basically what this means is that if you take this class, the first class, you're going to meet Monday and Wednesday 9.30 to 10.45 a.m. Let's say you don't like that time. Well, you have another option. You can take this class, which is Tuesday to Thursday 9.30 to 10.45 a.m. And when you see this green light, this little button that means that it's open and so now this is the location is just basically this is where the class is located on the campus and if you look at a map you will be able to say like see like for example if it starts with LA that's the liberal arts buildings which are closer by the library for example and then the, these are the instructors names so that way you can just look it up on rate my professor if you really wanted to so that's the same way it is for almost all the classes. As you can tell, some classes have more of a variety of teachers and have more than one teacher teaching it. Let's see, like one Journalism 120 News Writing Ethics, this has seven different, no, it has six different teachers who um, teach this. So you have six different options to choose. For example, if a class, let's say this teacher, it says lecture on Wednesdays. When you see this, for example, where it says they're meeting on Wednesday and it says TV at the bottom, usually this means that this is a hybrid class. So you see it says online only, but it's the same teacher. So this teacher teaches Journalism 120 News Ethics and it's a hybrid class. So half the time you meet in person and half the time it's everything's done online. 
And then for example, let's see, see how this class only says TBA. It doesn't have like Wednesday or anything. This means that this is just an online class. So you don't meet in person. And if it was hybrid, it will indicate up here. So this says hybrid, hybrid. And then this says online only. So this is just an online class. So just be careful with that if that's something that you're interested in taking. So sometimes you might see this. Basically, this is just reserved seating. So like sometimes like, like when I try to take a stats class, there was reserved seating for certain students. And I couldn't take it even if I wanted to. So some classes you can't take just for that alone because you, you are not in that reserved capacity or whatever. Like I said, you can search up the class by subject if you know what subject the class is. Or you can go by college if you just click right here. And so let's say like I am in the College of Liberal Arts. So I can just click College of Liberal Arts and then find journalism down here. And the same thing. I think it's personally easier just to search by subject, but you could do it that way. You can also search by GE requirement. So let's say these are all your GE requirements that you have to fill at Cal State Long Beach. And so if you want to see what classes satisfy the different GE requirements, this is a great way to look it up, what classes you need to take. And so let's say I want to look up oral communication. So this is the GE requirement for oral communication A1, as you can see right here. So these are the different class options. So every time you see this heading like COM 110, COM 130, that's a new like class. So all of this right here, these are all the same classes. They're just different like professors that teach it. Now you can also search up a schedule of classes by when you go to just searching up CSUOB's website and going to menu and go to the bottom where it says where is it? Schedule of classes, right there. That's a way you can find it as well, and it'll just bring you back. And if you're looking for spring courses, spring 2019, which already passed, summer courses, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now we are going to look up shopping cart in your CSULB portal. So like I said, if you click on the menu on the Cal State Long Beach website, and you go to my CSULB, which is at the bottom where my cursor is at, you're gonna be brought to this page. You're gonna be brought with a bunch of these things. Click on my CSULB. So your screen's gonna look something like this. Look at the bottom, it's gonna say enrollment shopping cart. Just click on that. Now, when you want to enroll for a term, um, one thing you do, you, you can know, one thing you can do is put your classes in your shopping cart ahead of time. You don't have to enroll, but you can just put them in there so that when it comes to the, your date that you are enrolling classes, you don't have to search for them. You already have them there and you just click enroll. Let's say I want to enroll in fall 2019 classes. So I will select that. I'm going to press continue. Right now my shopping cart is empty because I already enrolled in all my classes. Let's say I want to add another class which I'm not. <laughs> so like I said, you can search classes um, using that number I told you, or you can search it by a different method. So if you just click search, let's say I want to take a journalism class. So in the subject, I'm just gonna look for journalism. So journalism, um, you could do exactly, put the course number there, which I showed you earlier, or you can do, uh, I'm going to do undergraduate because that's my classes for course career and in mode of instruction let's say I only want traditional face-to-face -face. this narrows down your search because sometimes if you don't narrow it down then you're going to get a bunch of classes and you really don't want that so let's click search okay so now these are the classes that based on my search um, engine shows me that, that there are. So let's say I want to pick Journalism 104, Social Media Communication. So the class number is 7058. This is a regular lecture. Meets Tuesdays, Thursday, 9.30 to 10.45 a.m. and it's in room 100. Todd is the instructor and it's open. So I can select this if I want. Now you're brought to this screen. You can click next 
and after I click next, it says that that class has been added to my shopping cart. That doesn't mean I enrolled in the class, it just means I added it to my shopping cart so that I can enroll in it in a future time. So you'll see all the classes that are in your shopping cart in this area. And let's say I don't want this class, like I chose the wrong time, date, I want a new class. Just select it and delete. And it's gone. So let's get one of the numbers from the schedule of classes. Highlight it. Let's copy. We're going to highlight and copy it, the number into under class and BR. And it's going to show me that same class that I clicked on earlier. And then click on next. When it's time for you to want to enroll and it's your time to enroll, which you will get your exact date from the school, you just click enroll. Okay guys, so if you watch my video about how to schedule college classes, you will know that I think having an outline is extremely important. And so I was going to show you the way I schedule out my timeline for pretty much all the classes that I have taken or will ever take at Cal State Long Beach. Now when you create a timeline, uh, understand that it doesn't have to go according to that plan. Things happen, things change, classes are deleted, classes are added, but generally it's good to know when you're going to take classes. So I use, I like to use Google Docs. So if you see at the top, I do have AP credits, so I like to include that just so I know that 18 units I don't have to take because it comes from my AP credits. So I have 18 units covered, so I like to put AP units at the top. Then next I outline all the requirements for how many units for each of the different things that I'm in. So for a bachelor's degree at Cal State Long Beach, you need at least 120 units. For my journalism degree, I need 48 units of journalism classes. And then for a university honors program, I need 21 units. So this is my first ever schedule. This was my fall semester of my freshman year. So I like to create these like tables. I like to notify fall 2018. I took five different classes. Um, 16 units was my total completion and I graduated, not graduated, I had a 4.0 GPA this semester. I like putting these things that way I can continue to add up the units to make sure that I am on track and know what type of GPA I'm at. On the side here, what I like to do is I like to label them how many units each of these classes are. And then in this last column, I like to indicate what requirement this meets. So this first class, UHP 100, meets honors requirement and also meets A3 uh, general education requirements. So it double counts for both of those. And then let's say the second one, Journalism 110, this double counts for general education D2 and E, and also it is a journalism class requirement, so it double counts. And I like to highlight these in different colors just so I know. And here at the bottom, this already happened. These are my classes from last semester. And so basically I did the same thing. I notified how many units it was, what requirement it was. And then I also indicated like before I took these classes, if this was an in-person, online, or hybrid class. I'm going to explain like your academic requirements and how you can find that. If you go to my academics. You'll see, view my academic requirements. Click on that. Okay, so now we are going to see, like, look at this. Um, sorry, my camera is off. So it'll show you, like, the different program plans that you are in. And it'll show you that your GPA over here. So now these are just the different icons of what things mean. And so when you go to view my academic requirements, it's going to show you the different stuff. So it tells you you need 120 uh, units required to graduate for a bachelor's. And for general education requirements, you have different tabs. So let's say for general education category A2, three units, grade C or better is required, written communication. So if you click on that, you, we can see that I my AP credit fulfilled that, so I don't have to take that. Look at critical thinking. We can see that I took this class, so I am good. I don't have to take a critical thinking class again. And it will tell you three units is required. I took three units of a critical thinking class. Class that hasn't been completed, let's look at physical science. I haven't taken that, so it's going to show this. Three units required. 
zero taken. Now, if you want to go to your major, so right here, I have journalism. So if I click on, so it says nine units required. So if I click on journalism 110, we can see that I already took the class. What I find easier is just searching um, your major, like CSUB journalism, like requirements, basically. And so I can click on this 2018 to 2019, for example, and it's going to give me this huge checklist. And I print this out like every semester. So the way you read this basically is that prerequisites are going to be in this corner and then all the classes are going to be in this. So for example, right here, it says complete the following courses, three units total. Well, there's only one class. So if you're a journalism major, you have to take journalism 110. The second column below, it says complete both of the following courses. So that means that you have to take Journalism 120 and 240. And you have to, the co-requisite for Journalism 120, uh, the co-requisite for 240 is 120. So you have to take both of these classes at the same time. So now let's look at this. So when it says something like complete three units from the following courses and you're given three different classes, that means you just choose one of the classes because they're each three units. Pretty much every journalism class is three units, for example. Um, and then this one, same thing with this one, it says six units from the following courses, but you have more than two classes. So just pick two different classes that you would like. You don't have to pick all of them. So let's say I want to choose journalism 482 and journalism 495. Also make sure you read like the prerequisites and stuff, if it's upper division standing, make sure that you are qualified for that. Let's say now you want to search your general education requirements. Well, I just usually type CSULB general education requirements into Google search. I usually click on the first thing. Just click on the most recent year. So for us, it's going to be 2019. Then you can click on foundation. And it's going to show you the different subject studies that you need to fulfill. So you would need an oral communication in English, written communication in English, critical thinking, mathematics, and then you can click on the list of approved courses to see which class that you want to choose out of all of that to satisfy that GE requirement. And then the same thing with, these are also GE classes, same thing with these, life sciences, laboratory sciences. Click on these to see like what classes you can use to fulfill that category and also upper division as well. That's all you have to do to find that. So one thing I do want to point out that's very useful to creating a schedule, some people like to use um, like Google Calendar and stuff, I think that this is really nice is using free college schedule makers. So if you can see right here, um, what I love about this is let's say I want to add a class. So let's say it's going to be, I don't know, journalism 500. That's not a class, but I can choose a different color for its label. Let's say I want to choose red. Let's say journalism 500 meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I just click on that. Let's say it meets from uh, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. You can type course type, you can type instructor or location, and then add course. So that way I can have it here. Let's say I want to add math 240, 340, sorry. Let's say that meets Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 30 a.m. to 12 p.m. What I love about this is that when I can't really think um, clearly about how the times coincide, when you use um, like my free college schedule maker, you can put the classes in here to see does these align up? Like, are they conflicting? So as you can see, I can't take Journalism 500, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and Math 340, 7.30 to 12 p.m. because Math 340 cuts into Journalism 500. That way I know, okay, I can't take this class. It doesn't work with the schedule. And that's just how I like to do it. I like to print this out every time I have a new schedule and look at it. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions about the topics expressed in this video, then definitely leave a comment down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. And if you're going to Cal State Long Beach this fall, I hope to see you there. Um, if you see me around campus, say hi. Just let me know you're from my YouTube channel so I know. Um, but anyways, thank you so much. I love you guys and bye!